Hey, just because you find yourself getting a little bit older doesn't mean you can't bomb the ball way out there past some younger guys. Uh, I'm here with my student Walt. Walt is living proof of that. Uh, Walt has a high drive now of 267 yards. Walt, you recently had a birthday, and that makes you how old now? 72. 72 years old, consistently driving the ball over 250 yards with a high of 267, um, hitting it straighter than ever before as well. What we want to do in this video is show you, uh, take you through and take Walt through my magic speed sequence of drills and show you how we built his club head speed from 78 miles an hour at the beginning when we first started working together. And that was with an electric cattle prod to get him to 78 miles an hour. And now he's way up there and we're gonna show you how fast right after this. Hey, this is Steve from HitItLonger.com. In today's video, we're doing a giveaway for a free 30-day membership, a premium membership to my site, HitItLonger.com, where I'll be able to help you hit the ball longer and straighter. Um, all you'll have to do is keep watching the video. There's gonna be a key phrase coming up. It'll tell you what to do, and you're gonna be leaving a comment after you watch the video with this key phrase in it. Then I'm gonna pick someone at random and I'm gonna contact you on uh, the back of your channel, I'll send you a private message, let you know that you've won the 30 day membership and I'll show you how to set it all up. So as mentioned in the intro, Walt, um, we had to really get him to swing hard just to get him to about 78 miles an hour and about how many yards was that netting you back in those days? About 180. About 180 yards best effort back then with an enormous slice. If I take Walt through this sequence of drills, you're gonna see just exactly how much faster he's gotten by just consistently going through these drills, both during our lessons and a little bit at home. He's been working on it too. Um, and you'll just be shocked, but hopefully inspired on how fast you can still swing and how far you can still hit the ball, no matter what age you are. All right, the first exercise we're gonna do to help Walt build his club head speed up, we've got this cable we've got. Uh, if you want one of these, you can pick one up on my website, but it's very useful for making your backswing much longer and wider, really increasing your shoulder turn. So one of the things you can still work at, just because you might be getting a little bit older, and you know, we get stiffer as we get older, but doesn't mean you can't try to fight it. So you're going to see Walt can make a pretty good shoulder turn with this. And so here's your baseline right here. Now that's pretty good for 72. That's a pretty powerful looking position. And what he'll do with this is he'll hold it for about 30 seconds and about every five or 10 seconds or so, he's gonna just try to push a little hard. Now I'm gonna have you do that just by straightening this elbow out a bit, straighten that elbow a little bit more. And notice how much shoulder turn and depth he has to this swing and how much width off the back shoulder he's got here. It's a good 10 inches or so off the shoulder past 90 degrees of shoulder turn. How many of you can, can do that at home? And it's all very comfortable to him now, but this was not anywhere where you were before. You've yep. been through a lot of, a lot of these uh, exercises. So that's a fantastic display of a very powerful position at the top of the swing. It's gonna help him, it's gonna help you get a lot more club head speed. Are you ready to walk it in? Yeah. All right, we'll move on. All right, our second exercise in our series, our sequence of exercises, that seems to have an enormous benefit on club building club head speed. We're gonna use the orange whip here uh, and we're gonna do a ladder drill. So I've got the blue radar out and what he's gonna do, he's gonna take a comfortable swing in rhythm and try to recall the feeling that you were at at the top with the Power Coil Pro we were just using. Try to mimic that stay in rhythm, stay in balance, and then little by little build your speed five or six times in a row. Are you ready? Ready. All right. So this first thing swing will be real smooth and in balance. All right, terrific. So 73 miles an hour. Now you're gonna slowly build on that. 85. Let's see you keep maintaining your balance. 81. All right, let's push a little faster on the last two. 89. 
Now, do you feel like you're straining here at all? Do you feel like you're in any danger of injuring yourself or anything like that? 89 again. I'll give you one more swing and see if you can eke out one more mile an hour out of this to 90. Nice long. Terrific. 91 miles an hour. So now you did that extra speed than usual by winding up so much bigger, much wider with a much bigger shoulder turn than you ever did before. That and really whipping it at the bottom at the right moment is really giving you all that extra speed. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, so we've moved from the orange whip, which is an overweighted implement. It's like, what, twice as heavy right. as your normal driver. Now we're going to go to something that's 20 or 30 percent lighter, the speed whoosh. By the way, all the gadgets we're using in this video are all available to buy at my website. Um, I've left a link down below to go straight to the uh, shop where you could purchase some. All right, so we're going to do the same exercise, five or six swings, laddering. I just want you to start this exercise a little more aggressive than the last one. All right, see what you can do. Okay, 104 for the first one. Let's build on that. 105. Okay, three more. Try not to hit the ground or the tee. 107, all right, let's really ramp it up now. 109, really make that whoosh loud. 117, fantastic. So can you remember, Walt, tell them what, you remember what your high score in this one is of all time? Oh, I can't remember. I think that. it was one, 119, I think you did. Yeah. 119, so 117 is real close to his high. Of course, now that he's gotten up this fast, now it becomes harder to break your record. Right. You know, yeah, it's like right. when you're just uh, beginning at it and you're learning how to really turn it loose. Now, did you feel like you were really straining there or you feel yeah. loose? I felt loose. Just yeah. big wind up, big finish, and lots of speed in the middle. Fantastic. So. The speed whoosh is a, it's an overspeed device. It tricks your brain into making your body just simply move faster. And what we're hoping is that we're gonna see, see some of like the, you could say residue of these swings kind of carry over into the drill that we do next. All right, so now for step four, drill number four, uh, we've got Walt's regular driver and he's gonna do the same thing. Again, you're gonna start a set of five to six ladder drills and you know, if you feel anything at home, you attempt to do this and something doesn't feel quite right. That's why I like doing a ladder because then you can just stop yeah. before you ever get to that higher explosive speed. It can be a little, pose a little risk of injury when you're training explosively like this. So I really rather see you learn what speed feels like in increments mm -hmm. and also brings the risk down somewhat because you're not doing so many in a row so fast. Um, let's see what you can do with your driver. Okay. All right, five or six. Start medium fast. 100, fantastic. Back up an inch. 100 again. Okay, proceed. 103. Let's do two more, see if you can beat 103. 104. Now we're going for 105. So your high score with your driver, at least on the, the blue radar, is 104 miles per hour. Um, that's got to be pretty close to your all-time high, 105. 105. So again, we're real close to all-time highs. Now step five is simply putting a ball in the way. Now those swings are pretty long and reckless feeling. This is not necessarily the swing that we would use on the course. We're gonna bring it down into more of a controlled fashion. But as your top speed goes up, as you train it like this, so does your smooth speed. It's typically five to seven miles an hour difference. And so this is the way that Walt was able to get his swing up so high, not by practicing 
swinging at 78 over and over, hoping that he would get faster, but got to kind of push the envelope and keep, keep trying to swing faster and faster each week. If you're lucky, you might get a couple of miles an hour a week at it. Some of you might get a big gain at the beginning, but of course, later on, as you get faster, boy, it really starts to come in smaller increments after that. So now it's, Walt, it's up to you. We're going to give you some golf balls to hit. Yeah. And the, you got to try to promise you that you're going to put that same reckless, fast, big swing on it. We don't care about where these go. Right. We just have a ball in the way and we're intending on making that fast swing, maybe hit it, maybe not, but we're intending on it. Right. So let's give it a shot. Excellent. 92.1. Now, I, lo I love the effort on the heavy hit on the way through. Now wind it up bigger and do it. Walk to your left. Yes. Bigger, bigger. Big hit there. 93.6. So while you were pretty successful there, um, not necessarily at hitting the ball solid and straight, but that's not the point of this exercise. See, the number one exercise you can do for raising your club head speed is simply swinging fast with a golf ball in the way. It's by far the, the best, the most effective. So what you've got to do is just throw direction and contact out the window, at least on these swings. That's not what I mean. I don't mean go do this on the course, but we do need to keep sharpening up those, you know, developing this, the, the skill of speed independently of everything else. Now, Walt, on that last set, you were able to achieve a high score of 94 miles per hour. You didn't hit your longest drive of all time, but that wasn't the point. The point was to ladder up and really have the last two really big and really strong at the bottom. You did really well. It wasn't your all-time record. I've seen you higher than this, but compared to where we started oh, yeah. at 78 miles an hour, and now your smooth swing is typically somewhere between like 89 and 92 miles an hour. I'll see him just hit smoothly, mm -hmm. uh, you know, every time in balance and with good contact and now hitting the ball 250 quite a bit. And again, we set a high score of 267 yards at 72 years old. And I think there's still more to come. I think uh, this year our goal is gonna be get out to 275 or 280 and straight. Wouldn't that be phenomenal? Thanks to Golf Development Complex in Moore Park, California for letting us come and enjoy this beautiful scenery today. And hey, if I don't see you in the next video, I hope I see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Stay well. Thank you.